Hello TLC Town and Team One Blogosphere. This is Lady Nick, your social media red guy. It is now 2016, as you well know. We're already March as of tomorrow. Oh my goodness. So, I won't talk about how fast time is flying because I have a plate load of stuff to get done. But, I promised my subscribers I would share with you where this journey began. Well, it began, this segment, portion of it began in 2009 when I started to um, want to like just do videos, you know, for small business owners who not just, you know, live the ownership lifestyle, but, okay, let me back that up a little bit. I started baking from scratch. Yes, I'm over 40 and I have never baked from scratch. I've baked from box. I do know how to cook a few meals, but from scratch was something that I never did. Okay, so we had this thing where around the house people were buying stuff and you know, let and sit around. And one thing you'll get to know about me is I hate letting stuff spoil. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make some banana bread. So I, of course, looked it up on the internet, found over <laughs> thousands of millions of different recipes. So I was like, I just want something basic where I already have stuff in house, you know, the staples, and just add my own little, you know, flavor to it. So needless to say, I'm going to show you the recipe that I used in a little bit in more detail and share with you the process of what happened you know and at that time I wasn't thinking about producing videos you know what I was thinking about was um, feeding a group of young people that every time when we got to a meeting nobody seems to have eaten you know no one had time to take a breath and you know just sit down and have a conversation so I said you know what the next meeting that I'm in charge of I'm bringing some something to eat you know at least if you hadn't had breakfast before or you're on your way to dinner and you know that in between time time I like to serve something at a meeting because what happens you know if you've ever run into a meeting and you haven't eaten I'm not even talking about the stomach growling I'm just talking about like you're not really focused your your mind is sort of kind of here and there and everywhere so long story short I decided to bake bread from scratch so during that process um, you know the Lord just started ministering to me different things about my life where like as I was putting the dry ingredients together with the wet ingredients that certain things needed to happen you know in certain orders you can't just you know rush the whole thing and you know pop it in the oven because we live in a microwave society your perception is that way well it's not that way when you're baking bread you got to set some time aside and you can't bake in every season in every situation there's a time when like if you're rushing around and you just need to get something done don't bake <laughs> Just don't, you know, it's almost like sewing, but that's a different episode that I have to share with you. Okay, so I had bananas that were spoiling. Perfect, because once they're browning, the sugar rises to the top, so then that means it's going to be even more sweeter, you know, when you start baking. So then I added in, you know, the sugar, the flour, you know, I'll, I'll share with you in more detail what was coming to me as I was, you know, uh, doing the recipe. So, what had happened was I decided that, you know what, um, I'm learning a life lesson here. And I had already started mentoring young people, you know, trying to get them to go on in life. Not only go on to college, but start thinking about their life differently. And I said, you know what, food is a great way to get people to start thinking about certain aspects of their life. Especially since a lot of the feedback from the young people were, man, that was great bread. I started adding raisins and, you know, walnuts and almonds to the recipe. So... Needless to say, you know, a lot of what I learned about the banana bread that it's very embracing, it's very forgiving, you know, there's not 
too many ways you can mess up banana bread unless you're just not paying attention and you leave the timer off and just let it get burnt but pretty much if you have the ingredients it comes out almost the same every time you know and also what it showed me that not only I can bake from scratch but I can pretty much put together a, a snack you know, whereas that it draws people to the table because when the aroma filled the house in the studio, everybody's like, when is this stuff going to be done? Because I want a taste. I even created a special craving after the different elements that I started adding in. So, you know, as a business person, I had never experienced that before. You know, where you create an environment, you create a, an aroma where people want to gather around. You know, so I also created other recipes where, you know, it's like you can only get it here. You can't go anywhere else and you can only get it here. On top of that, I... I was able to make different gifts you know when people came to the house I said you know what raspberries are in season we're gonna make you some you know a special drink or spe special that's a smoothie I wanted I did ice cream and poured you know uh, a sauce on top of it and well that's another story that's why I said you know what if you want to get to learn a different aspect about life in general grow a garden you don't need a lot of space you can do a window garden just get a few herbs you start changing the flavor of your food alone so when you eat potatoes you mash it up you can put a little bit of chives in there put a little parsley in there you know just don't accept life as this bland everyday kind of thing so let me take a drink. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. You know, especially when stuff is warm, you know, and inviting. For me, it helps calm me down. And you know, in TLC Town, a lot of what I talk about or whatever I publish, you know, it's about creating an environment where you want to learn where you want to study you know everything doesn't have to be quick fast in a hurry though there are those seasons where you have to present things in a timely manner but you need downtime you need downtime to figure things through you need time with family and especially with friends this is not a, an atmosphere where you do it all on your own and you know all against the world you're gonna make it make it where <laughs> we live on this earth though you're not of this earth but we still live here you know you have to breathe in the environment breathe in the atmosphere so whenever you create a toxic atmosphere everybody's gonna breathe it in you create a healthier atmosphere everybody's gonna to want to breathe it in so that's my little you know long extended intro but let's go to the desk now so I can share with you the recipe and also a little bit more of the process on how I learned how to bake from scratch, create an aroma, and invite people to the table. 